Hey, what's up, guys? How you all doing today? I hope today is a good day. It's very sunny over here, and the weather is so hot. But uh, I'm here again with another tutorial on uh, uh, some drum bus sauce. Okay, I learned from Jason Joshua using the NLS bus, but I want you to stay to the end because there's an extra sauce. I just add on the drum boss on my own to add more life to the drum boss. Okay, that's after the NLS boss. So stick to the end so that you know the secret sauce I used to add flavor, color, and uh, sweetness to the drum boss. Okay, yeah. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, and click on the notification bell. Without much time wasting, let's jump into the tutorial. Let's go. Okay, that's the instrumental right the the title of this instrumental is comma yeah it's an ara star type afrobeat instrumental it's just below on my page it's just below this video so if you're interested in it you can purchase to use this beat commercially so let's jump into the tutorial so what am i doing on the drum boss is very simple if you know jason joshua is 16 time i think 16 or 17 time grammy award missing engineer he's got some good things going for him for him it's a very good missing engineer and there's a secret he uses to get his ball his drums sounding heavy tight punchy and all that it's no longer a secret because everybody in the world knows that already but the purpose of this tutorial is to show you in case you don't know and there's something i added on my own to make it more exciting okay so first thing on jason joshua's drum boss is uh okay this technique involves using uh, eight nls boss plugins you can use that of the waves that of uad for this tutorial i'm using the waves they are they they are so alike waves and uad yes so what is doing uh, um is that it's running the drums through this nls bus okay this nls plugin as you can see here is kind of emulating the board you know this wide mixing board you see on this um top studios right yes yeah, not the bedroom studio anyway we don't have that but this top massive studios this wide and big board missing board you see so that's what this plugin is trying to emulate so the first one is the mic emulating the ssl the mic i'm not sure what that is emulating then the nevo this is emulating the nev uh, the nev console yes so the first thing uh, okay we are just going to play an audio i'll by bi i'll bypass the process yeah so we hear how the drum sounds without the process that is the NLA, nls boss rather and how it sounds with so first with that let's see the play now this is with with the plugins engaged nls boss yes I believe you can tell the difference please if you are listening or 
I don't know if you are viewing this tutorial or watching this tutorial. Yes, please make sure you are using a good pair of monitor speakers or an headphone so that you'll be able to tell the difference. Okay. Now I'm going to play it again with the NLS bus and my secret source bypassed. Okay. The NLS bus is engaged. Then uh, after the first four bar. I will engage the secret source okay remember i said there's something i'm adding to make it more colorful okay so this will start my secret source oh damn sorry about that so this is without the secret source There with it. Then we tell the whole process. You see how dull it sounds, right? So Let's jump into what we're doing. For I'm going to by bypass by pass. Sorry, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm going to bypass every other thing. So the first thing we are doing on our drum bus, of course, I'm sure you know how to bust your track, uh, your drums or bust your track. Yeah. So everything in green is in green is my are my drum elements. So I'm bussing it to this particular us track that is my drum bus. So the first thing we are doing is we are throwing an N NLS bus and we are putting, uh, we are emulating the mic, mic console. So everything at default apart from the drive, as you can see, the drive is at 0 0.5. Yes, this drive, yes, at 0 0.5. That's all we need to do. So I'll play without and play with. So let me just solo the drums so we'll be able to hear everything. Just the drums rather, concentrate on the drum sound. So this is the drums without the first stance of the NLS boss, which is emulating the mic console. This with it. Yes, it gives it more depth, if you can get that. Again, without it. Sounds flat. Sounds like it's dead. Yeah, with it. Yes, more punch, more depth. Then the second instance is uh, we are emulating the spike. So we are leaving everything at default. As you can see, this is at zero, this is at zero. We are just switching to spike. So without it, then with it engage. Yes, it adds more color, right? Yeah, without. Cool though, but with it, it adds more color. Yeah. So the third is uh, we are also emulating the mic. Yes, mic. Everything at default. Drive at zero. Sorry, drive at zero. Trim at zero. So we are emulating the mic. Without it, now let's turn it on. Hey. Yes, gives more vibe, right? Now the fourth, again we are emulating the mic, every other thing at default, zero, zero, we're emulating the mic, this without it, then with it engage, jeez, hey, 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 you can hear that now, more punch, right, more depth, more width, yes, so the fifth is uh, mic again, this without it, this with it engage. Mm. More depth, more heavy, more punchy. Then the fifth, or is it the sixth? I think this is the fifth. Sorry, the sixth rather. While emulating the spike, SSL. This without it. Now this with it engaged. Again, 
added depth, added color, added punch. Then the seventh instance is a uh, Nevo, yes, emulating the Nave console. Every other thing at zero, at default, I mean. Yes, this without it. Now this with it. Listen. Without. Wait. Let me just turn on the bass to give it more groove. Emulating the mic also, everything I did for this without it. Now, this with it sounds better, right? Without this, wait. So without the drum boss, sorry, without the NLS boss or bosses, this is how it sounds. It's very dull, dull, dull sounding drums, yeah. But with the NLS boss, our process so far engaged. This is how it sounds now. Hey, that's more life. Getting more punch, more depth, and more color. Just sounds nice, man. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So, now, sometimes, as um, Jason Joshua said in one of his interviews, it will take out the second stance of the NLS boss and the cyst. But for me, sometimes I do that also, but I just feel, for me, or for the purpose of this tutorial, for this tutorial, I love the sound of all of them, okay? So I didn't take out anything. And sometimes it will also trim on the last NLS, it will trim this um, volume knob. This is the volume knob to just uh, balance the volume so that it doesn't become too loud, so that you don't get food by volume. Thinking because louder sometimes we deceive, we will make us feel a track is better or sounds better or because it's louder. No, that is not true okay yeah so we'll just we'll f but for this tutorial i'm not taking down the volume i'm just leaving it i know the drums has to hit so that's what i'm doing then lastly i'm using this uh, plugin called fruity balance the reason i'm doing this is that sometimes when using the nls bus because it's it's modeled after an analog console an analog console sometimes is not perfect so Sometimes the sound will shift to a, a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right using this NLS bus. Okay, so just look at our drum bus here. You notice sometimes it's as if it's a little to the right. Sometimes I, I don't know if you can see this. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's balanced, sometimes it's more to the right. So that's what I'm trying to balance with this plugin. So I'm just kind of balancing with the uh, balance knob. This taking a, taking uh, a three percent to the left just to make the drum centered. Okay, that's what I'm doing. This is not adding any sound or color to my drum boss. Please take note of that. Then for a secret sauce. Please, if you are still here, you've not hit that like button and you've not subscribed and turned on that notification bell, please, I beg you, do that, okay? That's how you support me, please, okay? Thank you very much. Now, let's jump to our secret sauce. Now, this is what I'm doing. I'm using the Clarifonic DSP MK2 by UBK, okay? This is a great sound plugin. I use it for virtually everything. Yes. So what are we doing with this plugin? I'm going to play the drum boss again without the plugin engaged and halfway I'm going to engage the plugin. Please listen for the difference. Now engaged. Hey. 
Blast Out. See what it does, right? It just adds more clarity, more air. It takes out the muddiness in the drums, okay? Takes out that low, mid, um, muddiness. Takes it out, okay? And it adds more air, more color, more brightness. Not so much, okay? Uh, it might be a bit too much just because I want you to hear and feel the difference, okay? So, but again, I'm sure you can hear the difference. It's just night and day so this is my secret so this is what i add so what i'm doing on this plugin is um i'm just um uh, increasing the i'm increasing the uh okay this is what we are doing um increasing the chima okay of this plugin okay um boosting the clarity there's a clarity knob so i'm just boosting a little bit so you can hear the difference this without the clarity knob see what it does right Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got everything that I explained, right? I hope you got it. If you have any question, if you have any tutorial you want me to drop, please leave them on the comment section or in the comment section below. Thanks, guys. Love you guys. Take care of you, okay? Bye.